Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Sunday, January the 28th. And uh, today we're going to receive some marine HF weather facts. So I'm outside here on my balcony. I'm just looking at an HF buddy pole. This is the uh, HF antenna that I'm going to use. And uh, it's connected to RG58 coax. So we'll go inside here. So here's the setup we'll be using. Uh, I've got a laptop here. And the laptop is running um, SpectraView. And the receiver I'm going to use is the SDR-IQ. It's one of the first uh, SDR radios that came out. It's uh, What I like about it, it's got a metal case. It's very rugged. And it's got a BNC antenna connector at the back, which is good for somebody like me with large hands. Um, this is, In previous videos two years ago, I used the uh, RTL with the Hammett Up converter. Uh, but today I'm just going to use the uh, SDR-IQ. The SDR-IQ is only for HF, so it works from, let's say, uh, uh, I think it's 10 or 100 kilohertz up to 30 megahertz. It's a very, very good receiver. And um, like I say, we'll use Spectra, SpectraView and we'll use FL Digi to um, decode the signals. Okay, so right now it's early in the morning. It's 8 a.m. and uh, I'm not receiving anything uh, in terms of the uh, HF facts, but I just wanted to go over quickly uh, the setup here. And I made a recording last night. I was able to receive... Um, uh, WFAX transmission on 9110 from Boston. So let's just quickly go over the settings here. Uh, in SpectraView, what I've done is there's um, a nice little um, option here called memory channels. So I set up the 14 frequencies here. Um, if you look for the east coast of uh, North America, those are the frequencies. So I set them up here so I can quickly click on them uh, and go through and see what's what's going on. So for instance, last night uh, it was 9110, so it automatically sets the frequency, and I'm in USB mode. Now, the actual signal uh, is is um, in USB, so you have to uh, lower this by um, like 1 to 2 kilohertz, and you can just basically put the uh, FSK signal in the middle of that uh, of that window there. So that's how you do that. Uh, you'll see that in, in the video. And then I'm going to decode, and by the way, the, um, the setup... And the output setup up here, I've got the output going to virtual uh, cable, VB cable. So that's something you have to do there is to set the audio for the input of the FL Digi. There's the FL Digi. Uh, the op mode, you want WEFAX uh, IO576. And then again, for the configure, what you have to do is make sure the sound card is set up for VB cable. So those are the, um, those are the two things you have to set up. And now I have a clip from last night when I was receiving uh, Boston. Good evening, it's Jeremy. It's Saturday, January the 27th. And I'm just receiving some HF weather facts information. Um, I'm receiving on a frequency of 9110. Uh, I'm using uh, the SDR-IQ HF receiver with uh, SpectraView. So I'm in the USB mode and I've set my carrier frequency about 1.9 kilohertz below the uh, frequency, the schedule, uh, all the details are in the blog post, but right now we're receiving 9110 from uh, Boston, call sign NMF, and I'm decoding it with um, FL Digi. So there's FL Digi, and you can align the, um, the fax image by using these controls. This control here will align it left to right, and this control here will align it um, sort of uh, in a vertical manner. This slides it over horizontally and this one uh, twists it one way or the other. Um, in terms of the operational mode, I'm in um, WeFax IOC 576 and I've got the upper frequency of the FSK uh, set up here. And right now we're receiving an image which is uh, pretty good. So that's, uh, that's the setup and uh, the details are in the uh, blog post.